How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? What people think about you, does it really bother you? How people perceive you and how people see you, does, is it really important to you? This is the conversation we're having here. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video is a video of a man who came on the internet to talk about how people's thoughts, how people always tell people that, oh, don't care what people say, don't let it bother you, just go on and live your life. And he was like, you know what, how can people keep telling people to ignore what people say when that is emotions, it cares about what, what people say is, get to him so why should he just ignore them and don't do or say anything about it and for me this uh, i feel like this is a very good conversation because i feel like this is just going to help people to just have the conversation do what people say about you it does it really matter and does it get to you do you think about it and i personally i have a lot to say about this conversation and what are you supposed to do to shut those type of things down if you want to shut it down? Do you respond to them? Do you ignore them? Do you just don't care about them? Like, I'm so here for this conversation. Let's go hear what this man has to say. He's thought on this and then we'll come back and talk more. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like, truly tell me how you do it. How are you not bothered when people don't like you for no reason or are mean to you for no reason? Because the advice that I always get is like, well, just don't let it bother you. Which to me sounds like if somebody punches you in the face, just like, don't feel it. I can't turn off the way I feel. I can't turn off my emotions. Like, are y'all telling the truth? Do you really not care or is there something wrong with me? So let me know that your own talk down in the comment section. How do you feel when people don't like you? Especially when we're raised in an environment and society where we are asked, like we, we crave for people to like us, people to connect with us. What do you do when people don't like you? Do you, do you really, really ignore them? I'd love to know your own take about this conversation down in the comment section, okay? So go on and share your own thought down in the comment section. This video has gotten people talking and people sharing their thoughts on this. And I personally, I have a lot to say about this. And I know you have a lot. So I want to know your own thought down in the comment section. Come for someone that some people don't like, okay? And come to someone that puts herself out there on the internet, okay? I have a lot to say about this. But anyway, guys, let's go check out what people have to say about this. Then I'll come back and share more of my talk. But I want to know your own thought down in the comment section. And have you subscribed to this channel? If you watched this video to this part, why have you not subscribed? Go on and smash the subscribe button. We post video every single day. So go on and subscribe to this channel. Okay, if you like videos that have conversation, go on and subscribe. Okay, so let's go check out people's thoughts on this. And then we'll come back and talk more. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? They was going to talk about you regardless. So now what? You going to sit there and think about what they think about you? Because they was going to think that regardless. You, 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 do you see where I'm getting at? It's also not the fact that like you care too much. It's okay to care, friends. Actually, caring is what kind of helps us be self-aware and also aware of how we land with people, which is an important process for a human. However... It's about how much weight we hold people's opinions to because those opinions are either based on their own experiences or their own insecurity. I don't remember if I said that already. I got the memory of a goldfish. Hope that helps. If it didn't, just remind yourself you're on a floating rock, they don't pay bills, and we die anyways. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like, truly tell me how you do it. How are you not bothered when people don't like you for no reason or are mean to you for no reason? I'm going to answer this one because I was a chronic people pleaser for over half my life. That changed the moment I realized my need for other people's approval came from within. If you want people to like you, you have to like yourself first. And if you want people to value you, you have to value yourself first. And the better you feel about yourself, the less you feel the need for the approval of others. You see, we can't control other people's opinions of us. But what we can control is the opinion we have of ourselves, and that is the only opinion that matters bottom line is this and if you can truly understand this it will completely change your life are you listening hurt people hurt people and their opinion of you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them once that clicks it's game over because mean comments and rude people will mean absolutely nothing to you in fact you'll probably feel pity for them but it is not our job to fix people that's still a tough one for me because I'm an empath, but that's a topic for another day. And I'll tell you right now, people that try to bring you down or choose not to support you, that is 100% because they see your potential and that is a threat to them. Never make yourself smaller for someone else, like ever. 
So here are five quotes that I live by. Put them in your phone, hang them on your mirror, do what you gotta do. Number one, other people's opinions of you are none of your business. Number two, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Ooh, let that one sink in. Number three, your self-worth is not determined by others. Number four, be a good person, but don't waste your time trying to prove it. And number five, my personal favorite, be who you are and say what you feel. Those that matter don't mind and those that mind don't matter. Dr. Seuss. Woo! And if you'd like some tips on how I block out negative people on social media, let me know in the comments. See you, bye. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly? As a ranking member of Generation X, I can tell you right now, the reason that we don't get bothered by those kind of things is because we developed a very emotional thick skin when we were young. So you have to remember, we were raised by parents who were baby boomers. These were survivors of Vietnam and the 60s and race rights and you name it. We had fathers who would scream and yell at us while we were holding a flashlight while they worked under the sink or behind the refrigerator or behind the television or under the hood of the car. We were told we were idiots, we were stupid, we were incompetent. This was from our own parents. If we got in trouble, we didn't get a talking to, we didn't get counseling sessions. No, no, we got the shit beat out of us. If we acted up in a public place like, say, the grocery store or the DMV or anywhere else, we would get backhanded. And nobody blinked an eye about it. Nobody cared. we get home from school. If we got in trouble at school, guess what? We had a belt waiting for us. Hell, we got spanked in school. Our principal spanked us. Our teachers spanked us. We would get publicly humiliated. We'd have to go stand in the corner of the classroom if you did something stupid. And no, nobody cared about our self-esteem or our self-worth. We were being punished. And we accepted it. We didn't cry about those kinds of things. We simply moved on with life and it toughened us up. Keep in mind also that when we played sports, not everybody got a trophy or a medal. If you didn't win, you went home empty-handed. If you really screwed up, your coach would have you actually running laps after the game. I had to do that in Little League. We actually had a game one time where everybody screwed up one way or another. The coach literally had us get back out on the field and we had to run the bases. We did laps while our parents watched in the stands. And guess what? None of them complained. They thought we deserved it because we screwed up so bad. But otherwise, you have your coach on the sidelines screaming at you, telling you to get your in gear. Nobody cried about that kind of thing. If you played football or you wrestled, you were really a young warrior at that point. Again, points actually mattered. Nobody cared if you felt good about losing or winning. All they cared about is if you actually won. So you see, for Generation X, when someone insults us, puts us down, criticizes us, we really don't give a shit because we've been through the fire and we've been hired hardened because of it. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly tell me how you do it. How are you not bothered when people don't like you for no reason or are mean to you for no reason? Yes, sir. There really are people like myself going through life not giving a damn what people think about them. Mm -hmm. Okay, because in the grand scheme of things, we're on a floating rock shooting through space. Okay, we got molten hot lava at the core of us and a thin layer trying to protect us from a ball of hot gas that got holes in it. Inflation and bills cost too much to give a damn. And I'm going to read you the story that my mama told me in seventh grade when I came home crying because I was being teased and worried about whether people like me or not. And it changed my life. I hope this helps you. Them, Rashonda. Fuck them in the morning, them in the noonday, okay. in the evening time too. Fuck them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. I'm coming and fuck them going. Fuck them to the left and fuck to the right. Okay. Mama, they daddy, they grandmama, they great grandmama, they great granddaddy, fuck uncles. Fuck all. Fuck them on a plane, fuck them on a bus, fuck them in a car on a train how are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you like truly i mean because most loquacious people have nothing more to talk about so they become talkative about talkative about people who don't care why should we care they're going to talk about any and everybody mm -hmm. that's projection so that's why i don't care what people think their opinions is no validation to pay my bills nor gain respect for me. So at the end of the day, honestly, some of us wake up and we just don't care. And to be allowing someone or people who are nine times out of 10 supercilious fools to project their insecurities on me is a no-no. So I just don't care. 
how are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly- Well, in college, I learned my favorite psychology term called fundamental attribution error, and it changed the way I see the world. Fundamental attribution error is a cognitive bias where we as people underemphasize the environmental or situational factors that impact another person, and instead overemphasize the dispositional or personal factors. That definition can be confusing, so here's an example. You see someone walking down the street and they trip. You can either say that person is clumsy, or you could say, hey, look at that sidewalk. There's actually a bump there. That's why they tripped. I began to realize that we as humans automatically assign personality traits to another person. Someone's being rude. We automatically think they're purposely being rude to us. But what's made my life so much easier is that we all succumb to fundamental attribution error. We're not thinking about the situational events that are happening in someone else's life to explain or describe why they're acting in that specific manner. They could have recently had someone that died in their life. They could have just been having a bad day. It may have nothing to do with us as individuals. And instead of holding that against them and letting it influence my life, I try to be more thoughtful to the next person that comes along. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly- You accept the dark thought that the only person that will be around every single day of your life is you and yourself. And so if that validation doesn't come within, that means you depend on others for it. And they won't always be around. If you live a life, I mean, even if you live a mediocre life, you will be the villain in someone's story. That's the reality of it. Also, let's be real here. Being the person that everybody loves is almost a red flag because it means that you probably don't stand on business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly- t In the words of RuPaul, what other people think of you is none of your business, number one. And number two, nothing you could think about me is worse than what I think about myself already. Sorry. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? Like truly- Honestly, you really just have to not care. And I know you said that, oh, I think you guys, you guys are lying. But no, what, what it really comes down to is that a lot of the time when people don't like you or people's opinions of you, it's a projectant, it's, they're projecting. They're projecting their own insecurities. They're projecting issues they have within themselves. And the wiser you get, and I don't say the older you get because I don't think this comes with age. It comes with just wisdom. Mm -hmm. You realize that you learn to give grace and you're thinking i'm supposed to give grace yes because at the end of the day you actually learn as time goes on with wisdom um comes a lot of power and you withhold this power that oh wow like this person doesn't like me it's probably something they feel within themselves because you've never done anything to them you know if somebody obviously does something to you and you have an issue with them and you get into it with them that is a valid reason but at the same time um and I'm just Somali. I don't get Be all going around living life not caring what people think about you. Like All right, step 1. Develop a negative core belief from life experiences that you're not likable. Now, once the negative core belief is really well developed, then you just start to build in internal defenses. One of those defenses might become an assumption. An assumption that, you know what, nobody likes you. So when you first meet anybody, you just assume they don't like you. Now at this point, you have a few options. You either have to move into fit um, mode, or you have to move into trying to make everybody like you, which is a lot of energy. So really at this point, it's just kind of figuring out the path of least resistance, which is just kind of like a mode. And you just kind of embrace your weirdness. In fact, you may even exaggerate your weir weirdness to uh, push people away. Oh, another really strong defense you might start to form is um, sarcasm to push everybody away. And for a while there, that works until you like become an adult and you feel like really unprepared <laughs> to socialize. <laughs> And then you go to therapy as an adult and you realize like, Ugh, maybe it's not helpful to kind of think everybody ha hates you right away because you really have a lack of trust in people. And you're unconsciously reenacting a trauma cycle of feeling rejected and abandoned by everybody. You start to explore with your therapist those negative core beliefs and do some lower brain processing like EMDR brain spotting around it. And you start to feel the pain and all of the memories and experiences of feeling rejected and abandoned by those that you really did care about.
when you start to unpack the shame that's connected with wanting to be in connection with others. But actually through all that hard work, your defenses start to just not be as strong. And then you start to actually let people in. But at the same time, you want to let the right people in. You don't care about the wrong people being let in. Oh, it feels like there's more of a balance. You care about what people think that you trust. And those that you don't trust and have demonstrated not being trustworthy, you don't care. It's really uh, that easy. <laughs> Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I love to know how you go through life and knowing people don't like you, how do you handle it? How, you, how do you navigate that space? I want to know your own thoughts down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful as always. We have amazing conversation here and we're allowed to disagree, okay? So for me personally, I find this conversation very interesting, especially I was raised to make sure people like you, do things to please people, like being in the people pleaser, even though maybe deep core in my core as a child that wasn't me <laughs> and yes there was a point in my life i do things just to make people feel comfortable even when if the thing makes me feel uncomfortable i do things that make me feel uncomfortable just to make other people around me feel comfortable but i'm not that girl anymore and these are some of the quotes and the rules i live by in life First off, I am not for everybody. I've come to learn this, and like the other sister said, it comes with wisdom when you start developing and knowing yourself, loving yourself, knowing who you are, what you are. You guys know how, we, how why you usually say you're on this channel. Like, the, the fundamental where I stand on, like, do the work, heal yourself, know who you are, know what you are, what you want out of life, I know that. And immediately I start going on that journey, doing the healing and all that. I realized that one, I am not for everybody. Some people just don't, even if the videos I do, some people click on my video and can't even stand the way I talk. I know that the old me and the younger me will want to like, oh, how can I do to make this person comfortable and try to adjust? But the me that I have grown to be and who I am now is that I have identified that I am not for everybody. I'm going to annoy some people. I'm going to crawl into some people's skin. I'm going to irritate some people and it is fine. I am not for everybody and everybody is not for me. And that's why when I get some hate comments, I know that I understand, like I just go like, okay, this one is obviously not for me and I'm not for them, it's fine. I'm not supposed to have everybody here, like you get it. I want people where we have similar mindset, all the same type of orientation. We may not agree on everything, but we agreed we identified that we're allowed to be different okay and that's the type of community i want to be and when you get to that point when you say okay people don't like you this person don't like you this person don't like you it just make you feel like peace out like okay it's fine that person don't like me that's fine that's good i don't like everybody it's not everybody i don't like everybody so how do i expect and why do i expect everybody to like me and me not liking anybody probably is because of their energy, because I pick up energy, I pick up vibe, I pick up the atmosphere. If I don't connect with you, if I don't vibe with you, if I don't like your energy, it is why it's not that, oh, I hate you, I know that I just don't connect with you. And it's fine, I can identify it. So why, why am I expecting everybody to connect with me? I know everybody deep down in our head will feel like, oh, I'm the most amazing person, I'm the most loving person, I'm the most caring person not I, I identify with it that's not for everybody and until you get that that you're not for everybody another thing i live by is that anything i do whatever i do if people want to talk people are going to talk i don't have control how people think what people say and what people do or about me but one thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to live my authentic self i'm living my authentic self and living in my own truth I am internally happy. I live my honest, like I live my honest life. I'm very honest about, so I'm honest to myself. I love myself. And so whatever you say about me, that's your perception about me. That's not my own reality. That's not my truth. And it's fine. That's just how you see me and it's fine. So one thing I know is that people are going to talk and I don't have control over what they say and what they think about me. And it's fine. And I will live my authentic self. And once I'm living my authentic self and I'm genuinely happy, Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> like the other sister said, it doesn't do anything for me. What you say, what you think about me, it doesn't do anything for me. And the truth is that I've gone to that place where 
less is more for me. I love my small circle. The thing is that for me, the vibe, the energy I get and the connection I get is more important to me than the number of people I have around me. So if I don't vibe with you, you don't vibe with me, it is fine. I keep it pushing and I go. I'm that person that if I don't vibrate, I'm just like, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with any negative energy. Like, oh, okay, not negative. It has nothing to do with anything negative to say, oh, I just, I just don't feel this person's energy. It's not a bad thing. Everybody always associates when you don't feel somebody's energy, oh, it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just, it's not clicking and maybe we're not meant to be on each other's path. And it's fine. And I believe in the divine and I believe in paths and I believe in destiny my name so if you're not my destiny we don't connect just keep it moving and be able to sleep at night because you live your authentic self because when you get to that place where you are seriously pushing so hard to try to please other people to do things for people so that people like you you end up losing yourself and that's when you stop living your authentic self so you get where i'm coming from so when you start loving yourself you do the work you start loving yourself you start knowing who you are and what you are then you find yourself that you're not pleasing people because you're living your truth. And living your truth, you're not going to be for everybody. You get it. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know your own takedown in the comment section. Go on and share your own thought. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations. Go ahead and share this video. Give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl, yeah? So with that all said, guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces!